Hello friends, this video on decimals part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let's see that how do we use decimals and what are those, where are those places where we make use of these decimals? Weight. So weight is one domain where we very frequently use decimals and how for example when you talk about kg gram kilogram gram so you see their conversion itself involves decimal for example one kilogram relationship between one kilogram and grams so one kilogram is equal to thousand grams that means that one gram is equal to one by thousand kilograms and one by thousand is nothing but 0 0.001 kilograms so this is the relationship of gram and kilogram so the moment you weigh things sometimes it is 3.75 kgs sometimes it is 0.5 kg sometimes it is 2.72 kgs so we, we abundantly use decimal numbers while weighing objects next is money so how do we use decimals in money now in money also we have uh, two sets of currencies in India like we have rupee we have pesa so we say that 100 pesa is 1 rupee so 1 rupee is equal to 100 pesa so that actually means that 1 pesa is equal to 1 by 100 rupees that is 0 0.01 rupees and the third sector where we use decimals very often is length so whenever we have to measure the length of anything. So let's talk about measuring length of a piece of cloth. So what are the units that we generally use? Meters, centimeters. So there also if you look at their relationship, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So one centimeter is equal to one out of 100 meters. That is 0 0.01 meters. So you see, you make use of decimals in all of these. For example, you talk about weight, you talk about 7.25 kgs, you talk about length, you say 15.75 meters. So in this fashion, we very often make use of decimals in, while measuring weight or length or money matters. Now, how do we express each of these using decimals? For example, let's say that uh, if, if you are given 50 rupees 90 paise and you have to express it in rupees. So how would you express it in rupees? So in order to express this in rupees, you need to make use of decimals. Why? That's because this actually means 50 rupees plus 90 paise. And how much is 90 paise? Now, as I mentioned before, that one paise is 1 out of 100 rupee right so one part out of 100 parts of a rupee is 1 paise so that means 90 paise would be 90 divided by 100 rupee so this basically is 50 plus 0 0.90 so this is equal to 50.90 so this can be expressed as rupees 50.90 so you see we made use of decimals to express this in rupees similarly if you talk about weight so this is 26 kgs 50 grams so how would you express it in kgs so for this again this is 26 plus 50 grams now as we have mentioned before that one gram is equal to one out of thousand parts of a kg so one gram is one by one thousand kg so therefore 50 grams would be 50 by 1000 kg. So this would be 26 plus you have three zeros in the denominator. So your decimal point should be placed in such a way that there are three digits after the decimal point. So this is equal to 26.050 kg. Third one expresses centimeters, 9 centimeter and 8 millimeters. This actually means 9 centimeter plus how much centimeters would be 8 millimeters. So 8 by 10 centimeters. So this would be 9 plus 0 0.8 or this can be written as 9.8 centimeters. So you see in this fashion we make use of decimals in length, weight and money matters. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.